ADCC Canada, the Ottawa edition, the first one here in Canada. I believe we have about 700 matches getting ready to kick off today. It's gonna be amazing, excited to get to it. Eight mats filled with action coming your way. My name is Mo Jassim, I'm the head organizer of ADCC, and this is the launch of the official ADCC YouTube channel. So we're in the process of launching 45 ADCC events over four countries in the next two years. So make sure to subscribe and watch and follow the journey as we put all this together until ADCC 2024. ADCC Canada in full effect. Gotta get this crowd what they want, man. And then in Canada, something happened, which I never thought would happen. Just a million years. Micah Brakefield from 10th Plan hit three twisters. The only twister I'd ever heard of being hit in ADCC was Vinny in 2015. So to hit three of them in one competition is just wild. Ottawa hit three twisters and an arm triangle just to make my way into the finals. So, this is the kind of stuff you're going to be seeing. Um, and I think the athletes get energized when they're doing these ADCC events because they know it's going to be competitive. Uh, you can go up against some no name grappler and they're going to come after you with everything they got. So, I think that's the intensity is what makes people uh, tune into ADCC. Me personally, I'm excited to see the kids competing in the open. And, you know, ours, our open is going to be very different than others. Uh, we're not going to be babying these kids. It's going to be challenging. <laughs> I don't care if they're four years old in a white belt. If they're stalling, they're going to get hit with stalling calls. I genuinely believe the ADCC rule set is the best rule set to prepare uh, grapplers because it forces you to work your weaknesses. You know, you're going to have to have some kind of wrestling. You're going to have to have a good guard. You're going to be up. You're going to have to be able to pass. So. Um, it's going to be interesting seeing everyone adjust to the rule set and getting ready for the trials that are coming up in uh, Poland in September and Atlantic City in October. Big show. Big Francis Pata fan. Big, big fan of this big guy. Let me tell you what. Not only does he have like the, uh, uh, like he has the, the spirit, he has, he has the drive, he has the fire, but the dude is so entertaining to watch grab. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
put when you put your foot in, right? Yeah. To put it back in the guard. Yeah, I need think to stay. Long, yeah, think okay. longer. Okay. You know it's supposed to be uh -huh. three. Make it four or five. Uh, just okay. so the cadence okay. is right while you're out there. Okay. That's good, good. homie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Monsters. Monsters. Yeah. Every day, man. Oh, it's one more. I've trained with Big Dan before. I, you know, he was in Puerto Rico for a year, and we trained. He, he's very talented. I think his issue before was rising up to the cage where he competes. So for him being this active, I think it's brilliant. I knew he was going to be on here. I picked it for DeAndre and, and Hanson, and I picked it to get Big Dan on my mat. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm Kieran Keechuk. I'm a Canadian black belt here at the ADCC Canada Open. I'm pretty excited about this event. I got the final later on. Uh, I'm super happy they came to Canada. I'm happy they're doing these Opens. It's going to give uh, more exposure to the ADCC rule set, get people more amped about it, and get people actually training to scrap, because this rule set is it's forcing you to scrap. You cannot stall. So. Very exciting day and I'm happy to be here. When you see the finals with the advanced guys, you can tell they have a game plan, they they know the rules, they they understand what's gonna happen during the match, and then whoever applies their game the best really wins. So it's really cool to see like finals for uh, advanced. Uh, I learn a lot, the judges learn a lot. It, it's just a great time, especially in ADCC. The game has really evolved.
And your winner in the plus 100 kilo men's advanced division, Big Dan. Last time you seen me double gold ADCC. I push more, but... No, shout out to John. Thanks for making us do armbar escape drills every day. No, actually, f you, John. What the? F Look at this guy. Big, strong, and technical. F you. I love you. <laughs> Absolute least, comes to, down to this giant Iranian judo Olympian, judo champion taking on Big Dan Manisal. Javad Mashon. The idea is to strive to be as good as you possibly can, run as far as you can, because life is short and you don't know when you're going to get hurt or let's say that good day comes where you're not able to train anymore. Fighting out of New Wave Jiu Jitsu, please welcome Big Dan! Kiss. Ready. Set. Come on. Then.
just shows that when you set big goals for yourself, even if you miss the big goals, you're still going to land somewhere great. And thankfully, I was able to achieve what I wanted, um, which was winning double gold at this tournament. And this isn't just going to go ahead. The goal is to win ADCC, double gold at ADCC many times over, and just try to be, be the best competitor you may than I can be, and uh, every day I come closer to realizing it. Make some noise, come on! Francis had a hell of a day, big Francis Panna, and big Dan Manasoy goes double gold, takes the absolute, takes the plus 100 kilogram division in, in amazing fashion. I believe he ended the Panna match with a smother, right? Was it a smother or head and arm? Something where he just put that big old chest over his face, but really was an amazing time here uh, in Ottawa for the first one for ADCC in Canada. Mexico, we got done the first one. Canada, we got done the first one. Costa Mesa, here we come. All right, Michael Sears here with ADCC. We're here at the Orange County Open here in Costa Mesa. 15 men, going 1,200 competitors. Let's go and check it out. Let's go, baby.